back, everyone, to another haunting episode of Kicking It with Gavin Cheech. I am Gab, as always. And I'm Cheech. We're going to kick it off today. We're going to recap the Carabao Cup. Then we're going to get into our Premier League uh, preview of the season. You got the Rizzler over there. Um, but yeah, we'll kick it off with the Carabao Cup. Quite a few games spread through Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, not really any massive, massive, uh, you know, games of the week. I think uh, there was a couple that were really good, but uh, we'll start off Tuesday. There was two games. Yeah, we have three South- games, four games. Southampton Stoke. Southampton with a three-two win over barely. Stoke. Barely, yes, barely. Um, they freaking they blew their <laughs> they blew their two-no lead, and then they conceded two, and then they scored late in the 88th minute. <laughs> yeah, to this point, Stoke City had the mo- one of the most goals, or they had the most goals in the Carabao Cup tournament so far. Uh, before United, you know, went off this uh, <clears throat> this round, but. Unfortunately, Stoke City are officially out. Um, tough for them. Always love to do it on a rainy night in Stoke. But <laughs> Southampton, get it done. Yes, they do. Uh, but, yeah, that, it's a win is a win. You know, even though it's just a cup competition that, you know, who knows if they'll, how far they'll get all into it. Uh, any win. It, during the season is good to hopefully carry it on to the league. And we move on to Brentford. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, tie, the game ends 1-1, going to penalties. And Brentford, Brentford ended up winning 5-4. Absolute good one. That was a good one. Shocking from Brentford. Yeah, um, definitely it should have been a game that should have won comfortably, especially when you see some of the starters. And Buemo started, Carvalho started, uh, Jensen and Janelle both started in midfield. Ben Mee started. Yes, legendary. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, they advanced to the next round. And that is all for Tuesday's games. We go to Wednesday. We had some pretty good games. Uh, first one up, we had Liverpool Brighton. Liverpool with a three-two win. Got Paul the brace. Yeah, we had an absolute banger. One of them. Um, halftime nil-nil. So all five goals came in the second half of that one. It was a banger at the end for sure. Uh, that was definitely one of the matches during the one of the best matches of the week for sure. Yeah, uh, good to see Gakpo score. Uh, he's been a little quiet as of late, um, especially with the you know other players such as Darwin Nunez starting. Definitely. But yeah, it's a good, good win for Liverpool, continuing their hot streak. And Brighton are unlucky with that one. Um, we go to the next game with a shocking result. Aston Villa, Crystal Palace. Palace with a 2-1 win over Villa. Indeed. Definitely interesting for sure on that one. One I definitely thought uh, Crystal Palace... I'm sorry. Yeah, Crystal Palace would have lost. Um, there was for sure John Duran got the goal. Um, but definitely, yeah. I mean, just interesting for sure. Uh, Jean Felipe Mateta. With the goal again, um, just just actually, uh, yeah. But John Felipe Mateta been playing well as a uh, looks like taking the ten role still uh, as it or I'm sorry as a and Mateta both taking the ten role in a bit as cams. That's been an interesting setup for them that we haven't quite seen, but uh, trying to utilize their best players for sure. And Andy Wharton back into it as well getting an official start after start so far. I think he's on two consecutive so far. Yeah, disappointing for Villa, certainly. Uh, but 
in the end, I feel like it will benefit them not playing in an extra competition since they're doing so well in the Champions League. Definitely. Uh, so we move on to United Leicester. The man, the manager bounce. It came against Leicester. Um, Casemiro, the banger of the week, absolute rocket. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they couldn't score tap in. Second ten hacks gone. They're scoring absolute belters. Uh, Leicester did play quite a good game. I thought, you know, getting the two goals, but United just on the manager bounce back game, they always do it. But we'll really see what happens with them during the weekend. That's going to be the bigger challenge for sure. But an easy, comfortable, should have had a win. From United, they do what they should do. Yeah, they're definitely disappointing from Leicester. Once again, you know, they're conceding way too many goals. And... Unfortunately, their Carabao Cup run is over. Yeah. We move on to Newcastle, Chelsea. You know, we came away with the win in the league. Unfortunately, we lost uh, the game over simple mistakes that could have been prevented. And, yeah, Newcastle coming with a 2-0 win. Um... First goal from Isak, you know, ball was given away by Vega right outside the box. Isak just had to shoot it at that point. And then the saucy own goal um, off of a set piece, just unlucky. But other than that, we had some chances. Joe Felix missed one-on-one with the keeper, kind of chipped it over him and hit over the post, went over the post or went, went to the side of the post, unfortunately. Uh, Mudrik played a really good game. Um, was our best player, I would say. Uh, just Mareska said it best. You know, we lost. We lost the game within ten minutes. The rest was was great. Yeah, sometimes that's definitely all it takes. Um, didn't get a chance to really watch this one too much. Was definitely zoned in on mine uh, match, but either way. Um... Kind of knew it was coming. I mean, you know, the reserve squad, you could say, comes in for Chelsea. Uh, or well, the subs come in for Chelsea. You knew Newcastle coming off the loss was going to want to at least take this win, knock them out of the competition, and they did. Yeah, really unfortunate to be out of the competition, considering, you know, any silverware would be good to have, you know, and to keep playing this competition. But unfortunately, that is, that's over for us for at least this com- competition. And so we move on to the next game. We had Arsenal, Preston, Arsenal comfortable three nil win. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. Arsenal will play with all those defenders and defensive mids. Definitely. No, it was definitely expected result for sure. Three nil. Knew it would be something up there. Preston North End, you know, obviously not even on the same planet as Arsenal right now. Um but yeah, comfortable win. They get their job done. Yeah. Good for them to keep it rolling. Uh we move on to the last game. We had Tottenham Man City. Two one win for Tottenham. Yeah, Holland's on the bench laughing it off because he knows he doesn't care. Yeah, honestly crazy. Um, I mean, the fans care. I cared for sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, Holland's been playing every single match. We have no backup striker. We're seeing injuries unreal amount. We have, we're going to have 13 senior players available uh, for the Saturday match with Bournemouth. Um, Savino gets stretched off, seems to be an ankle injury. Uh, after a brilliant performance, um, Jack Grealish is already out. Goku's already out. You know, Akanji comes off during the pregame as he was slated to start. Uh, doesn't end up starting. So definitely a difficult situation going on. We got a couple of weeks to battle it out for now uh, to get to the break. But, you know, Tottenham, 
well deserved this one. They got the chances Timo Warner put together. Um, I wouldn't say a master class. I would say we gave him a lot of what he had, but he could have definitely had more. Yeah, it's always the story with Timo Werner. You know, if he has a great game, you know, it could have been definitely better because he has a lot of chances where he just should bury them. Doesn't. Um, definitely. Van der Veen came off injured. And apparently, he shot himself. I don't know about that. I just I don't know. Interesting take for sure. The videos definitely interesting, but yeah. Tottenham get the win. Spurs away for us. What? What else? What That's else is name. our curse? <laughs> but yep, that is it all for Carabao midweek games. We will turn it up into the Premier League. What? Premier League, indeed, another cracker of a week. Just, I see some good games already. Some great <laughs> games, you could say. Let's kick it off right away. Saturday, five thirty a.m. Newcastle Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, Newcastle did beat us, uh, but I feel like they weren't that dominant over us. Yeah, I'm not too sure on this one. This one's definitely a weird one, I would say. Um, yeah, coming off Newcastle's performance against first squad Chelsea, you know, I'd probably for sure go on and say that Arsenal would beat them. Uh, they did play well in the Carabao Cup match, but I don't know. I mean, Arsenal... You know, it is an away game, but at the end of the day, I think Arsenal are just better. So I'll probably expect Arsenal to win this one about 2-0. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think Arsenal will pull it off. But don't count Newcastle out because we'd never know with them. Very in-form, out-of-form team that can go anywhere, especially because the midfield is still trying to f- discover themselves, I'd say. Um, because you have a lot of players that you can plug in there. You got Tenali, you got Bruno Grimage, you got Jolinton, you got Willock, you got Lewis Miley, you know, plenty of midfield talent. Just finding the right three for that team, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Will be interesting. I'm still sticking with my Arsenal 2 0. Yeah. And we kick off, we have Man City, Bournemouth. Should be a a fairly easy game for City at the Vitality Stadium. I I need Holland, you freaking, you rested midweek. Score a hat-trick, buddy. That's all I asked for. This is definitely going to be an interesting one for me. Don't really know. It looks, it's going to have to be. A Phil Foden, you know, maybe Bernardo Silva winger uh, game uh, alongside with Matias Nunes. Kovacic will probably get in there as well. Gundogan. Um, I'd probably look to see John Stones maybe play some CDM, if not Rico Lewis. And then I probably expect a back three. Uh, Diaz, Gorvidal, maybe Ake, who just got some playing time as well. Getting very, very slim. We got we had a lot of youngsters in the Carabao Cup match. You know, Rico Lewis didn't have his best game. Um, you know, Phil Foden was playing striker, uh, switching back and forth to James McAtee. Definitely interesting. I mean, we get past this week. I think we have Champ- Champions League next. Not against a massive, massive, you know, team in the uh, Sporting, but still someone who could beat us, and we definitely want to win all our Champions League games. So it's going to be a tough one. It's going to get tight. We're going to see what happens with Savino probably by the time this comes out um, tomorrow. And if it is serious, you know, not exactly sure how we're going to get through it. We're waiting, you know, Jack Grealish probably out a few more weeks. Uh, Doku out until at least the break. Um, 
I think I saw uh, Kevin De Bruyne probably out until the break as well. Um, and then with the kanji, we're not exactly sure still. if you, We'll find out tomorrow, I'm sure, as well. Definitely an interesting one. If we're going to drop points, it's going to be brutal. But we do have, if we can make it past this week, we got two more match days on Premier League. And, you know, they're, they're not the easiest ones. We got Brighton and Tottenham. So, you know, it will definitely be interesting. We get the break and then we'll come back and uh, play, let's see, Liverpool, I think. Which, yeah. Yeah, Liverpool. So we got to make it. We got to make it to any injuries uh, for the next couple of weeks. We get to the international break. Hopefully, some time to rest up. Everyone will be good to go. De Bruyne should be back. That's the hope. Cause I need him. It could get scary. I need him. But yeah. Um, but I think Man City should, should still take care of that game. I don't see why they shouldn't. I wouldn't say that, mate. No excuses, though. No excuses, though. We lose the, we don't win the championship. You know, we don't win the the Premier League. No excuses. It is what it is. But we expect to power through it. Ball up top. <laughs> Next up, we got Iswich Leicester. Should be a good game at Iswich. Um. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. You know, could be a high-scoring game, I would say, especially since Leicester have been conceding a lot. And, you know, Liam Delap has been on some pretty good form, I would say. Yeah, this would be a really good game for sure for me. I'm going to go Leicester, um, you know, maybe 3-2. Really like this one. Really, really like this one. I've been talking about Liam Delap being that Jamie Vardy esque player. You know, this would be a very, very good one to prove that. It's gonna be a Ipswich at home game. So I'm going still Leicester though. The three two. I'm pulling Ipswich four two win. Wow. Not strong. We move on. To Liverpool Brighton, a rematch from the midweek at Anfield. I think Liverpool do it again, take care of business, but it won't be easy for sure. Yeah, I'm probably liking Liverpool with this one, but I'm gonna go Brighton two one. Just, Just to knock it off, off, give us a cushion. Hopefully, I like it, but. I think I think yeah, I think Liverpool pull it off. Maybe like a one nil win. Very very close game. Definitely will be a good one. We move on to this one. This should be a great game. Forest West Ham at the city ground. Uh I will definitely be watching this game. Yeah, no, another good one for sure from Forrest. Um, you know, a chance to prove themselves again, even though West Ham are below them. This is still one that we would probably expect West Ham to win. But with Forrest in their current state, red hot, I'm going to take Forrest on this one. I'm going to go 2 1 Forrest. Uh, like, um, I don't see. I don't know. I just don't know what to expect from West Ham, you know. I'm thinking a 2-2 draw to be safe, but I feel like either team could win this game. Definitely. This should be a good game. Um, We'll see. Somerville, I I say start him again. Have Bowen on the other side. Um, We'll see if Michael Antonio starts. Definitely. This that's one of the sleepers of the week, I'd say for sure. Definitely. There's quite a bit of good ones this week. Yeah. Uh next game we have another good game that should be good. Southampton Everton at St. Mary Stadium. I think Everton take care of business here. 
Um, For sure. That's where I'm at. Also. Like a 2 0 win, I'd say. Yeah, this is when they should definitely win. Southampton, not very good on defense. Uh, not very good on offense. I'm going to go Everton for sure. 2 0. Good one. I like it. We move on to the final Saturday game. We got Wolves Palace. This one should be a great game at the Molyneux Stadium. I'm saying a Wolves win. Me as well. I like this one for Wolves. This is gonna probably gonna be a really really good game. I'm liking like a like a three two win for Wolves. I'm gonna go. Um, Fortunate for Pal, unfortunate for Palace, but I think Wolves have just been showing really good play against really top tier teams and just haven't been rewarded for it quite yet. Yeah, even though Palace coming off you know really good wins, <clears throat> beating Tottenham, beating Villa, but if you look at these, if you watch these Wolves games, <laughs> yes they're losing, yes they're drawing, but never do you feel like they're truly out of the game. One hundred percent. Yeah. So I I feel a Wolves win, like a two one win would be good for them. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll be a banger. That'll be one of the other sleepers to watch. I mean there's so many this week I feel like, but that's gotta be one of them. Prime time slot for the Saturday for the Saturday. Gotta be a good one. Yeah. And um, we Kickoff to Sunday, we got Tottenham Villa six a.m. kickoff at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I... Yeah, this is this card. The main cards for this one, the games of the week. I mean, there's arguably three of them at least. Liverpool, Brighton, Spurs, Villa is definitely one of them as well. Spurs coming, you know, feeling probably confident after beating Man City. Villa may be down in the dumps after the loss, or the, yeah, the loss. Tottenham could stay hot. I don't know if Huming Sun's quite in yet, but, uh, you no know, he's been gone for quite a few weeks now, so we'll see what happens. But I like, I think I'm going to like Tottenham for this one, even though they just, you know, absolutely destroyed the bed last weekend. Yeah, um, going Villa. I think they'll keep it up. Um, you know, bounce back from that palace loss. Um, thinking like a two one two one win should be a really good game, regardless. One hundred percent. Yeah, this should be a banger for sure. All I know is that we we're due for a banger of the week. Yeah, Some... we need a really, really good one. Casemiro's, I mean, banger of the week for the Carabao Cup for sure. But we know, that was absolutely lacking a little bit. I'll yeah, be honest. But we move on to match of the week: Man United at Chelsea at Old Trafford. Back against the wall, Man United. First Prem game with the new manager <laughs> should be an absolute belter. I don't know. I don't know who to go. I mean, like. Like I want to say, Chelsea's the easy, the easy one for sure to say, but you never ever know. The players could have absolutely hated Ten Hag. The players yeah. could be feeling unreal amounts of boost right now. You could be looking at, you know, morale changes. You could be looking at Rashford turning into prime R nine. You could be looking at freaking Garnacho going insane. You know, any one of these guys could just catch an absolute moment of brilliance, a couple moments of brilliance. Chelsea definitely have to watch out for this one, I'd say. Yeah, it'd be tough. You know, Chelsea, luckily, no injuries. Um, Anthony's out. Maguire's out. Manning's out. Luke Shaw's out. Mount's out. You know, Mount. But I feel like they'll still put up, you know, a fairly strong team. Uh, we'll see who gets the start up top. If it's Hoyland, if it's Xerxes, Xerxes got the start midweek, so we'll see. Um, I definitely think it'll be Hoyland up top. Um, we'll see. 
Yeah, we will see. I I honestly don't know how to call this one. I'm it's just because you're gonna call this one Chelsea. I'm gonna call this one United. Sancho revenge game. Two, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go uh, two text, one. Zach sent me a thing, a tweet of Sancho missing the game midweek because of illness, and he's like, he's already starting his excuses. And I said, buddy, he's preparing for the, the game on the weekend. Yeah, it would be definitely Revenge fitting you. if Sancho goes, bags a couple, bags at least one. You know, while Ten Hag, you know, he already posted on his story when Ten Hag got sacked, the Most waving fake. emoji. Most um, fake. So, you know, you know how he feels about that. But definitely match of the week on paper for sure. We'll see if it lives up to it. If not, you know, we have two oh. or three others. Couple sleepers as well. Three one wins. Hold on. I feel like Onana's gonna have a good game though. That's my only concern. He definitely could. Um Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what type of I didn't watch the mid or the midweek match, so not really didn't get to see how they played. But definitely, I mean this is a prime time game. I'll be able to watch it, you know. See how they're setting up. Realistically, see how they're gonna, you know, change. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, not really. Hopefully, but you know, Bruno hopefully or can maybe find himself a bit more. He's been pretty non-existent all season. Biggest contributions coming off maybe a red card, you know, two. So far, nothing massive from him. Rashford looking to make a big impact to, you know, Garnacho still yet to to go absolutely insane. But I'm going Man United 2-1. Chelsea win. And I got me, me and Zach bet dinner on it, on that game. Nice side bet there. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and we have the rare Monday night game. Yeah, we got a Monday night game. So that's good. Uh, we it's a good game as well. Uh, Brentford Fulham. Yeah, that's gonna be an absolute banger as well. A sleeper College. again. Like I said, there has a potential to be an unreal amount of bangers of the week. Um, and if one disappoints, you know, there's five, six others <laughs> to light us up. Um, I like this one. It's at Craven Cottage. You know, Brentford. It's kind of hot still. Fulham. Cooled down just a bit. I'm going to go Fulham here at home on a Monday night. It's going to be a beautiful game to watch. The pitch will look immaculate as always. The scenery will look immaculate as always. Can't wait to watch this one for sure. I This game going to go either way. I don't know what to Fulham have been eh, as of late. Same with Brentford. Um, I'm gonna go Fulham two one, Raul Jimenez. I like that one. I like that one. I was probably thinking, you know, maybe three two in an absolute classic. That's all I could hope for. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Got a couple good weeks coming up in terms of competitions. Like I said, I know for Man City there was some big ones coming up in two in three four weeks. Uh, I know Chelsea's got an Arsenal match coming up here pretty soon. They got Man United this week. You know, it's not necessarily easy for them right now. Um, but there's definitely, yeah, I mean, you're going to be going through it the next couple of weeks. Every, but Just about every team will. Getting some good matchups. We'll see. Got him. I ain't worried. That's pretty strong. It's, you know, you guys absolutely shit the bet against Liverpool, so... It's all right. It's all right. Not perfect. Yeah. But ball up top. Ball up top. All right. Well, let's take a look real quick at the table. Man City sitting up top, one point above Liverpool. Uh, Arsenal sitting in, you know, they're starting to bridge that gap a bit. 18 points, drew, drawing with Villa, just beat him on goal differential. Chelsea with 17, Brighton with 16, Forest in 7th with 16 points as well, almost in the top 5 and 6. Tottenham behind them, 
Brentford, Fulham, Bournemouth in 11th, Newcastle United, West Ham United, Manchester United, 14th, Leicester, 15th, Everton, and Palace. Palace did get out of it. You got Southampton, Wolves, and Ipswich all in the bottom three with one, two, and four points. But Ipswich have a chance this week. Wolves have a chance. Wolves have a chance this week. You know, the win wouldn't necessarily take them both out, um, but it could take, you know, it could take uh, Ipswich out if Palace do end up losing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this will de- yeah, this will definitely be a massive one for sure. A massive week for the bottom half of the table. Let's have a look to Early Holland still leads with 11. Brian and Buemo with 8. Cole Palmer and Chris Wood both with 7. Bukayo Saka leading the way with 7 assists. With Palmer and Salah right behind with 5. Yeah. That is all for this episode. That is all. Fairly short episode today. Yeah. Next week, uh, well, after the weekend on Monday, Champions League will be coming up. So we'll have a pretty extended episode there. Um, but yeah, this will be a really good weekend for sure. Next coming weekends are going to be massive as well. Uh, you know, City, like I said, probably the biggest d- doubts right now that they've had in quite a while in terms of the team, just such limited ability. Um, you know, you wonder what they could be looking for. Transfer windows not too far away. We're a few months, two months, two, two and a half months, months away. Um, so definitely big news. We'll be getting into those as it gets closer. Boxing days in between, massive holidays, Thanksgiving, Halloween, you know, just today, today. That was the day we're filming, uh, Christmas coming up, uh, Hanukkah, all these New other Year's. ones. Yeah, New Year's. So there will be some massive stuff in between. This is definitely one of the best times, probably mentally, you know, spiritually, everything. This is one of the best times of the year for sure. We will be there. We'll be there. Ball up top. (laughs) Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We will see you guys on the next episode. You were kicking it with Gab. And choose.